Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my Zoom video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access the settings for people that do not have an account that just want to use sign in to join meetings. So, to access the settings, all you have to do is come here. You're on the main screen. This is what, what it looks like when you first open the app. And then you get this little gear icon on top. Um, then you're going to hit um, this. Um, well, then you can hit meetings. You can check out your meeting settings. Um, you know, you can do auto connect to audio, which is uh, for PC users. If you're used to seeing that little message saying connect to computer audio, it's the same thing. Um, this will automatically connect to computer audio every time, um, which is, I think you should have that. So I'm actually going to use that. Um, but that feature is turned on and off because you can also call in while you're on a video. So you can have the video on, but the, the audio is coming out of your phone. So you can actually call in if you want that as well. Um, that's why they have that feature. Um, always mute your microphone and always turn off my video. So pretty much if you turn either of those on when you first join a meeting, you'll be muted and your video will be off, depending on which one you choose. Um, mirror my video will just show you in your frame will be mirrored, so it'll, it looks like you're looking in a mirror. Um, always show a video preview. Um, so when you first join a meeting, it'll, there's usually a pop-up with a video saying, oh, this is how your camera looks. Um, do you want to join a video? Uh, or do you want to not join the video? So if you the first time um, you do it, there is a button where you can turn that off every time. And so this is why mine's off. Um, but if you want it on, it will ask you every time. But if you keep it off, it won't. It'll just remember your settings from the from the last time you entered a meeting. Show non-video participants. Yes. Um, if you turn this off, anybody that doesn't have a video will not show up. You usually usually you see people's icons um, if you don't if they don't have a video on. Um, but if you turn this off, it will remove them and just show people with videos. Um, show name when participants join. Um, so yeah, you, this is like a little pop-up saying so and so joined. Um, if you want that, you can turn that on. Um, auto copy invite link. So every time you join a meeting. Um, it will be copied to your clipboard so you can actually share that meeting link with anybody else that you want to, to join in that meeting. Um, closed captioning, um, if you have this on, uh, Zoom can kind of uh, help you out. If you can't hear somebody that well, um, they, they can have actually have subtitles so you can actually hear what they're saying. Use original sound. Um, so this has a app, ha the uh, this app has a noise suppressant uh, system, so it helps with the, the audio, but if it's having issues, you can turn that off and get the original sound coming from your device. Um, show my connected time. Um, it'll just, if you turn this on, it'll just have like a timer, a clock timer, like a um, showing you how long you've been in the meeting. Safe driving mode. Um, so when you join a meeting, you can actually swipe from left to right, and it'll bring you to safe driving mode. So where you can just tap on the screen to start the, uh, to have the mic turned on, so you can still chat while you're driving, um, and then you can tap it to turn it off. Um, but you, there will be no video when it's in safe driving mode; it's just audio. Um, I personally would just leave a meeting. I don't like. I think it's, just, it's still not safe. I like. I mean, I'm glad they have this feature to be a little bit safer, um, but. I would just keep this feature on. I mean, I wouldn't even use this feature. If I had to drive somewhere, I would leave the meeting and then join back later. Or if I really needed to, I would just leave myself muted and just listen to the meeting, but still concentrate on the road. Um, reaction skin tone. You can do like thumbs up and high fives and raise your hand and stuff like that. So you can change the color of your skin tone for that. Um, then we can go to version. So if you tap version, um, it's going to load and look for if there's an update, which it already says Zoom is already up to date. Um, but I recommend checking that every now and then. That way you can see if it's up to date. Um, I always recommend making sure this app is up to date. Um, so that way it's actually fresh and secure. Um, send feedback. So if you have an issue with the, the app, you can actually type a message in and send it to support. And then they can take that feedback to improve the app for future. Um, tell others about the app. So you can pretty much do a sh uh, share the app with people through different apps here, as you guys can see. Um, you rate your Zoom through Google Play, so this will open up your apps, App Store, if you have the App Store or Google Play Store, depending on what type of device you have. It will bring you to that app, and then you can rate it and do a review. Um, privacy policy, if you click that, it will bring you to the privacy policy, policy page and to show you what the privacy policy is, as you guys can see there. Um, and then... That is it. So, if once you sign in, there actually are more settings, and you'll see that in that video when that comes out. Um, but this is just like the small generic settings, which is actually really cool because um, 
you can still change the settings of your app even when you're not signed in. So, all right, guys, um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to message me on my Facebook page or leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.